because I'm thinking maybe that's why I can't sleep because I wasn't tired, you know. And so I got in the habit of like reading under the covers and like I didn't get in the habit of thinking bed sleep. I got in the habit of thinking bed read, you know, bed think of things bed. You know. And she looked at me. She said, you know, Francie, you start talking when you're nine months old. <laughs> My mother was home. I went. I was child. Women were home. And children. But she said. From morning to night, <laughs> he followed me around, asking questions, one after the other, every day, a thousand questions. By 7.30, I just couldn't listen to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently that's what I was like. <laughs> but now people would say, how delightful. <laughs> I talk to a child. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Constantly for talking in school. Yeah. My first day of school, my first day of kindergarten, when I was not even five years old, my first day of kindergarten began with me being incredibly excited to go to school and ended me ended with me sitting in the corner with a band-aid pasted over my mouth, <laughs> holding up a sign saying, I am a chatterbox. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that wouldn't happen now because now, you know, and then I got punished at home, as I was telling Jackie before. I mean, if you got punished at school when I was young, you then got punished at home. You know, if the teacher said you did something wrong and told your mother, then your mother punished you. Now, your mother gets a lawyer, they sue the teacher. <laughs>